This Ridley O sponsored by Keenvention Yard Info. It's a keen convention, you'll have to go. I get queries probably about twice a month regarding what the status is of my lawsuit against Nashville Police Department. This two years after they arrested me for walking backwards outside a Joe Biden event. The charge was criminal trespass. They didn't like me leaving backwards. But anyway, I thought I'd provide you folks an update on that situation. And a little bit more importantly, I wanted to share with you a positive experience that I had, strangely enough, with Nashville PD recently. I don't know if they knew who I was, but I was taking a nap in my vehicle my small car to be exact, I was in a shopping center parking lot and had started taking the nap fairly early in the evening, or maybe I should at least say not too long after the sun went down, and what was supposed to be a one hour nap sort of turned into a longer nap, and pretty soon all the cars around me were gone. I was one of probably only about three or four cars in the lot. And so that made me sort of, I guess, more isolated or stand out. And a, a policeman apparently came up and, and drove up to every vehicle in the lot to see if there was anyone inside sleeping, <laughs> which I'm not sure that's entirely the best way to spend police time. However, uh, when he came up to my vehicle, I really liked the way he handled the situation. He seemed to be genuinely just trying to find out if I was okay. He did pump me for a little bit of information, but as soon as I asked him if I was required to answer questions, he didn't push me on the matter, and he didn't force me to show an ID. Just kept asking if I was okay. And that was it. They turned around and left. The whole thing took about four minutes. And uh, But then he went and checked on some other people. I don't know how interactions went with them. I sort of watched from a distance, and I didn't see him. He didn't seem to be harassing anybody. So... You know, I mean, it, it, it could be worse, could be better, but again, uh, you know, as Nashville PD goes, I'll take uh, uh, what improvements I can find and report them. This incident actually gave me an idea about how I might handle the situation with the lawsuit. Now, uh, th there's a deadline coming up. I guess it would be May of 2014 when that's that's... I can't file the lawsuit after that because, the, you know, like officially and start the court proceedings because the uh, statute of limitations, I guess, would have run out. So, I mean, when I say I'm suing them, my lawyer is working on them. We're trying to get them to come to a settlement with us. We've made certain demands and so forth. Um, and they've just been kind of dragging their feet, which makes it more likely that we'll take action before the deadline expires. But... You know, we could always do nothing, drop the lawsuit, that sort of thing. We could even drop it after we've after we've filed all the paperwork. And the the idea I had, they've been dragging, like I said, they've been dragging their feet, and that's been leaning me towards just all oh, let's just sue, you know, let's just sue their pants off, um, and get some money and distribute the money back to taxpayers. But um, that that's one idea. The other idea might be to distribute the money to a freedom cause in New Hampshire. It's not me. But anyway, uh, back to the um, Back to the law lawsuit issue itself. The the idea I had was that we could uh, break off negotiations and go ahead and just sue them, file the paperwork soon. Uh, I think this would be useful to break off negotiations, but just because you know, we got to do something against their foot dragging. We've proposed some non-monetary solutions. They have not ruled out non-monetary solutions. They have ruled out a, a, a monetary settlement with us. So I guess we could just move forward and then and say, listen, you know, we, we couldn't get you to commit to anything or come to any kind of agreement. However, now that the suit's in progress, we'll just watch how you guys behave yourselves over the next 6, 8, 12, 24 months. We'll watch for improvements in the... Conduct of Nashville PD as reflected in maybe police logs or in media coverage. You know, and if a period, if that period of time expires and there haven't been any more Mike Gannon type in incidents, there haven't any more Ridley type incidents, Mike Gannon was the guy who they arrested for videotaping them. 
uh, and also they arrested him for some complicated but ridiculous thing uh, back in 2011. There's probably other scandals, but we can kind of monitor, you know, the history of scandals over the last few years and see if that seems to have improved and then maybe leave open the door to you know, shutting down the lawsuit uh, uh, in response to an improvement in their behavior. That could be so, so that way we've got, you know, the, the possibility the door is always left open for them to just improve their behavior. But the stick is still in our hands because the lawsuit can continue and uh, we can get something out of them in court. I really would kind of like to get a monetary settlement out of them, even though I can't really take the money myself. Uh, being a, you know, I just, the idea of receiving money from the government is just not something that's going to be consistent with the rest of my message. However, my lawyers put some work into this, and Stephen Martin over at Martin and Hipple, and uh, if we have a non-monetary settlement of some kind, he kind of gets nothing, you know, except a better police department in a town that he doesn't live in. So, I don't know. Uh, these are some brainstorms. I have so little faith, you know, in the judicial system, even despite the legal victory defensively on this this case, uh, that this is just sort of a this is just sort of a follow-on to the part that really counts which is getting their asses on video. I'm speaking just for myself. You know, for other people, the legal system does work. And, again, I'm, I'm just thrilled with both of these lawyers, uh, Stephen Martin and Seth Hipple. But I'm just, I mean, it's not the litigious type. I'm the fighter type, sure, and I'll fight. But that's just not the method that I normally use. You know, I guess there are other options that would be on the table, which, which might include if, you know... I, if, if we don't sue them, I could resume demonstrations or um, something at City Hall. I could do something at City Hall again. I don't know what that would be. I could put myself in position to do ambush interviews of natural police people. There are all different options that would be on the table if if I felt like a you know escalation were necessary in this conflict that stretches back to 2011. Like I said, right now, that behavior of that particular officer was so good that that's moving, you know, it's, it's kind of leaning me a little bit more in a, in a different direction, a more conciliatory direction, but it was such a small thing that it doesn't make me want to drop the lawsuit. And, and of course, the, fit, the city's foot dragging makes me want to escalate the lawsuit or escalate something. Anyway, this... You know, decision, or at least this, this this idea to break off negotiations preceded the pleasant incident by about a week. NPD deserves to have me reporting on the good things that they do, or at least the bad things that they decline to do. But what they did and in 2011 to me was so bad that it's going to take more than just a, an incident like this to uh, shut me down. Shutting me down is accomplished by de-escalating, by doing something graceful or gracious. And I guess because of this incident, I will delay um, a break-off in negotiations. Maybe by a few weeks. <laughs> or at least... That's what I'm thinking. Uh, I, I'd have already, I'd, I had already started talking to my lawyer about it a week or two ago, so it's possible that that uh, he may have already taken action. In which case, I'll I'll stick with that. But uh, right now, I'm leaning towards, if possible, delaying a few weeks the, the break off of negotiations. Held near the peak of leaf-peeping season in a place that's fascinating even without its natural beauty. The purpose is to focus discussion on New Hampshire freedom activism. November 1st through the 3rd. Keen Vention Info. It's a keen convention. You'll have to go.